Um, I am lipstick. I'm lipstick and lipstick from Boy Magazine. The Butch and the Femme column. Uh, we dish out really sassy advice every month to readers. Tough love. Um, it's not for the life. Thank you. Dear lipstick, I don't know what to do. The love Just you? Oh, sorry. And dipstick. <laughs> If, it's, if you only got five minutes, you have to pull out the vibrator. The turkey dinner on lesbian sex, if you, it's a whole, you make a whole easy one. I don't know what to do. The love of my life just left me. For a man. <gasps> she says she's been in turmoil about it for months, but finally couldn't handle it anymore. The guy is her boss. I'm so confused and don't know what to do. We've been friends for years, and she's one of the biggest coaches I know. We used to ride our motorcycles side by side on dikes. On bikes. Please help me, brokenhearted in Buffalo. Oh, oh that's so sad. You know what's funny though? Mm -hmm. What? We have a chapter in that funny casino. bisexuals out there claiming to be lesbians. There are two reasons these dick lovers hide their true identity. <laughs> First, the negative stigma associated with the word bisexual. Some women are afraid to identify for fear of being chastised, and in some social circles, I'd imagine it's grounds for them. So they end up hiding their true selves, which only festers, and when the relationship is finally over, and they step out with a the man, they become these lesbian-hated icons. You guys remember Anne H. Oh, yeah. And still do, even though it's moved on. Yeah. The second reason why this happens is that many dykes are cynical and bitter. I know, it's hard to believe. <laughs> At some point in their lesbian path, they foolishly fell for a straight woman who broke their heart. So they t they're totally adverse, almost repulsively so, to women who are bisexual. It's like a gag reflex. 